Ethan here, and today we're going to be doing another tutorial on how to make a logo for your YouTube channel or your website, uh, whatever you'd like to use it for. And anyways, we are going to make it look something like this. I just made this logo for one of my YouTube subscribers, so I thought I'd show you guys how to make it since it is pretty cool. So anyways, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to be using Pixelmator. Uh, this is a photo editing software. Um, it is, I believe, around $39. Um, somewhere around there might be $29. Um, and pretty much it's a lot like Photoshop, but I prefer it a lot more than Photoshop. Not as advanced, but it is a still a very nice application. So next, let's jump right into it. So we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to make it 250 by 250 in pixels. And we're just going to hit OK, and we're going to have a blank document right here. Once we have done that, we are going to make a nice gradient background. So as you can see, I have this blue background. So we're going to go to the gradient tab. You can do this by double-clicking on the gradient, which is right here. So double-click on that, then we're going to make a new gradient. To make a new gradient, just hit on this plus sign. So we're going to click on it. Make sure this is set to linear, which is the circle right here and we are just going to change these two colors. So you are going to want to make your colors uh, blue and dark blue. You can use any color you'd like, but for the video I'm going to be using these colors. So if you'd like to use the same colors, click on the first one and put in this number right here, 336FC6. So once you've done that, just uh, close that. Then click on your second color, and you are going to want to put in this, 162D4D and then close that, then you're just going to hit OK, and you're good for that. Then we are going to so make sure our gradient tool is selected. You can select it by hitting G on the keyboard. Then we are going to click right about here, and drag down to the bottom right-hand corner, right about there. Now once we are going to, um, sorry, once we do that, we are going to add a bit of noise to it. So we're going to go to Filter, Stylize, and Noise. Once we have done that, we are going to drag the amount down to 1 and uncheck monochrome. Then hit OK, and as you can see, we have a bit of a grungy look uh, to the background. It also blends the colors a bit uh, better together. Um, next, we're going to add some text. So we're going to go to the text tab right here, and we're just going to make a selection. And we're going to put in any name you'd like. So uh, for this uh, video, I'm just going to do the same. So I'm going to do G E O H or N H. Now, once we have done that, we are going to make another text box. So we are just going to click the text tool again, uh, make a selection, and I'm going to do 3, 2, 1. Now we are just going to move these around. So I'm just going to move that over there move this over there and just try to make it uh, look nice right about there is good so once we have done that we want to select some colors for uh, these words so I'm just going to select on the top word we're going to hit command A to select everything then we're going to hit command T which is going to op open up a uh, text tool um, box then we're going to hit this little button right here which is going to open up some colors now I'm going to go to my color wheel and we're just going to drag this into the middle and I'm just going to select a nice darkish black gray color uh, we'll just have a look right here probably make that a bit darker closer to black uh, so that's that's pretty good right there if you're wondering what the color I'm using 1F 1F 1E so then we are going to do the same thing for the bottom number we're going to use a different color though so I'm just going to select that command A Command T. It's going to open that up again. We're going to go to the um, colors here. And I'm actually going to select the same color. You can do this by hitting the magnifying glass and uh, you can select a color from anywhere. And I'm just going to use the same color. So, as we can see, we have a gray on the bottom and a blackish gray on the top. So, once we have done that, we are going to add some shine to these words. So, as you can see, it's a bit shiny on the top of each word. To do this, uh, we're going to do the same technique as we did in the last video. First, we are going to make a um, selection. Now, you want to go to the selection tool on the top right here. And if yours looks like a square, you are just going to hit M on your keyboard, which will make it like a rectangle. Then we are going to make a selection on the top here, just about halfway through the letters or the word. Then we are going to make a new layer above that layer. 
So once we have done that, we want to make a gradient that is white to transparent. To do this, just hit the new gradient and then make your first color white and then make your second color transparent. To do this, all you want to do is bring down the opacity to zero. And there you go. Then hit OK. Go to your gradient tool, click on the bottom of the oval and drag up. Just like that. Now we are going to click on the top of top word, which is the G-E-O-N-H. Then we're going to hit Option, Command, L. Once we have done that, it's going to make a selection around the letters. Then we are going to click back onto the um, oval layer right there. And we are going to go to Edit. Then we're going to hit Inverse. And then Backspace. And that's going to delete the outside uh, oval part. Then we're going to hit Command D to deselect. And now we want to bring down the opacity uh, quite a bit. Um, I'm going to put it down to about 22 is good, just around there. So as you can see now, we have a nice a shiny part. You can bring it up to as much as you'd like, doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm going to be putting it around here for now. Now I'm just going to quickly do the same thing for my other word. Um, so hopefully uh, you can follow along still. So I'm just going to make a new layer. Put a selection tool on. Do an oval around that word. Now we're going to go to the gradient tab, do the same gradient, hold shift to get a straight line. Then we're going to click on the 321 text layer, do option command L, then click back onto the shiny layer, hit edit, inverse, and then backspace. Then we can hit command D to deselect, and then bring down the opacity uh, just a bit. Uh, just about there is good. Alright, now we're going to add just a bit of a black border around these words to make it look a bit more bold. But before we do this, we just want to merge these layers. So the shiny part for the um, 321, uh, you're just going to click on that layer, then hold command and click on the 321 layer so they're both selected. Then right click and go merge layers. You don't have to do this, but I find it's a bit easier. So then I'm going to click on the shiny layer for the top word and then hold command and click on the top word and do merge layers. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then we are going to, uh, as I said, do that black border a bit. So we are going to right click on um, the top word and do duplicate. Once we have done that, we are going to go to the fill tool, make sure our color is black, then hit option command L and then click inside the selection and just drag out as far as you can. Now if I hit Command D, as you can see everything is all black. So after that we are going to drag this layer under the um, original layer. So as you can see we have a bit of a black outline. Then we are going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian. And we are just going to bring this up slightly. I'd say around 8 is good, um, but it depends. Uh, how you did your colors. Um, so just do it until it looks good, then hit OK. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other layer. So I'm going to duplicate the 321 layer. Then we are going to go to um, the fill tool, hit Option Command L. It's going to select the 321. You're going to click and drag out until everything is black. Then we're going to drag that layer under the original layer. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian. And then bring that up slightly a bit uh, until it looks uh, rather nice. So for this one, it looks about 16, looks pretty nice. I'm going to hit OK right there. Now we can merge these layers again. So we are going to go to uh, this layer and the original layer. Um, you can hold Shift or Command, then hit uh, right click and go merge layers. And then we're going to do the same thing for this shadow and the original layer of the top word. Merge layers. <clears throat> now throat is getting a bit dry. Uh, excuse me if I'm kind of stuttering. Um, now we're going to add this nice lens flare. Now we can add this lens flare. The link will be in the description where you can download it. Um, I believe I have it in my download still. Uh, we'll check here. I don't believe I do, so I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back shortly. Alright, sorry about that guys. Um, so I got my lens flare now. I'm just going to import it into the picture. 
So I'm going to go to my Finder desktop and then locate the um, uh, wherever you saved it. Um, so the link will be in the description, so feel free to check that out uh, to add it into your photo. So I'm just going to click and drag that onto the photo. And then I'm just going to uh, close this Finder window. Click on the image. Now you're going to have this big black um, thing with the lens flare. Um, to get rid of the blackness, you're just going to go to the blend, click on the lens flare um, layer, so make sure it's selected. Then go to blending and select screen. So as you can see, that got rid of all the black, and you are left over with the lens flare. Now you can just relocate this wherever you like. Um, for the photo, I have uh, just put it right over there. And as you can see, uh, very similar images uh, we have here. Now, if you don't like the blue background and you maybe want a different uh, colored background, such as a gray, you can do that. Just go to the um, first layer, which is your background. Go to the uh, gradient tool. Click and drag it, and then you get a different color. You can do whatever color you like, um, but for the video, I did blue. Um, so that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you are enjoying these uh, Pixelmator tutorial uh, videos, please just uh, let me know in the comment section or uh, like the video. I always enjoy a nice like. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.